everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Mickey Batiste. And I'm Elin Quijano. Here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. The U.S. and China agree to keep talking in an effort to thaw the frosty relationship between the two world superpowers. President Biden hits the campaign trail as Republicans continue to jockey for position to challenge Donald Trump for the party's nomination. And families and communities across the country come together to celebrate the nation's newest federal holiday, Juneteenth. Later this hour, a battle on two fronts. Israel launches new military action inside the West Bank as its government moves forward with a controversial judicial reform plan. And have Americans gotten the post-pandemic revenge spending out of their system? We look at the changing consumer trend and its impact on the country's fight against inflation. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Chinese President Xi Jinping today in Beijing as the two look to ease tensions between the countries. Both sides claim to have made progress on some specific issues. But Secretary Blinken says there is still significant work to be done. He sat down with Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan to discuss China's refusal to move forward in reestablishing military to military communications. An aspect of that that really is important is military to military. Mm -hmm. We don't have an agreement on that yet. It's something we're going to keep working. I made very clear to our Chinese counterparts the importance that we attach uh, to that, uh, something that is also profoundly in their interest, because again, we both agree that we want to, uh, at the very least, make sure that. We don't inadvertently have a conflict because of miscommunication, because of uh, misunderstanding. Joining us now is Michael Swain. He is a senior research fellow and expert in China and East Asia security studies for the Quincy Institute. Thanks very much for being with us. So what did the U.S. hope to get out of these talks? And did Secretary Blinken accomplish those objectives? Well, the U.S. was very clear about what it hoped